Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is August 23rd, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures, you're going to say the futures are trading higher by five points today. They are sitting right at 2186 and a half per contract. You can see the futures really took off around 2 o'clock in the morning. It looks like uh, European bank stocks are doing better today, and that is definitely giving the markets a little bit of a lift. And we'll see how it plays out throughout the remainder of the trading session. All right, let's look at some stocks in the news because that's where we're going to make some money today. Best Buy is first up. You're going to see that this stock right now is having a huge surge. Stock closed at 32.80. It is now trading at 37.86. I happen to think the stock is very, very overbought at this level. Extended. Be a little bit careful if you own it. Congratulations if you don't own it. Um, I would leave it alone. So if you do own it, you want to just trail your stop. Or take your money off the table. Again, I see very, very little upside, if any, for Best Buy up here at these extended levels. In fact, the $38 level is a massive weekly chart resistance area. So, again, I'm not sure the stock's going to be able to get through there. But nonetheless, it is a very, very good pop this morning. And we'll see how that plays out. Next on the radar is going to be DATA, which is Tableau Software or Tableau um, company and what you're going to see here is stock is trading at 59.10 this is a very very good pop considering the stock closed at 54.87 you do have 61.68 to contend with that is the daily chart 200 period moving average so again can it get up there i suppose it could but again if you own it already i would trail the stop that's a pretty good gap up this morning i did start to look at some potential gap levels um, but right now, they are still a lot higher. So we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Um, but you will be coming into pretty good resistance around that 61.5 to 61.70 level. And again, that is a 200 period moving average on the daily chart. Let's take a look at Zoe's Kitchen. This stock is absolutely hammered this morning. Stock closed uh, yesterday at $37.25. It is now trading at $31.75. The only level that really would interest me in this stock would be around 2750 so again um, if it got down there, down there I think that would be a level if you're aggressive you could look at the thirty dollar and fifty cent level but remember this is a light volume stock rarely trades a million shares a day in fact on average I would probably have to say it trades somewhere around 250 to 300,000 shares a day these stocks can overshoot so be careful there I know a lot of traders um, already saying hey Nick what would be a good gap level for this one and to be honest it's a tougher stock than it looks simply for the fact that it's a light volume equity and these things can overshoot levels next up we're gonna take a look at Mobileye MBLY I'm not sure what the news is here I did not get a chance to look at it um, on the news that is but nonetheless the stock is having a really good session um, it could be up on the data news or in sympathy to data but either way this is a pretty good pop uh, on mobilize so right now the stock is trading at forty eight dollars and ninety three cents closed at forty six fifty six um, right around that fifty dollar level you'll have some resistance the better area though is around 52.75 to 53 bucks there should be a wall of resistance there so keep that on the radar and we'll see how it plays out let's take a look at um, JM Smucker ticker symbol is SJM and you're gonna see right here stock is gapping down this morning it closed at 156.23 now trading at 151 dollars and 46 cents when I look at this one right here I tried to find some good gap levels um, they're a lot lower so you got to be a little bit careful the level I'm going to give you right now for SJM um, is probably decent if it gets there and that's 146 you get to 146 I think you can play that for a scalp bounce so keep that on the radar let's take a look at Monsanto this had um, news today it looks like they're back in talks with the German company Bayer and um, we'll see if uh, something comes out of that but um Bayer, I believe, is looking to take over Monsanto. So remember, there's a takeover premium built in here. Um, resistance today would be probably around 112.50, 113. I, I would think there would be resistance there. But nonetheless, you never know what somebody's willing to pay for somebody else. And um, again, that's what we're seeing, at least at the moment. Um, it looks like we are going to see um, a couple of other upgrades and downgrades today. You're going to get a lot of that. I think Square was upgraded today and the ticker symbol there is SQ 
you'll see that stock is getting a little bit of a pop, close at 11.82, trading at 12 dollars and 22 cents um a few other equities out here are getting some upgrades and downgrades but the reality of it is uh you really want to watch um what these markets do once the opening bell rings so again you know gap ups gap downs just find the best support resistance levels that's what we do in the intraday stock chat room we've had a great 2016 we're going to look to keep that going again this week so uh, if you want to come over and trade alongside of us come over and do that let's take a look at gold now Gold futures trading up about five dollars right now, sitting at thirteen forty-eight. So if you take a look at the GLD, which is a good gold, good ETF to track gold, trading up on the day that is one twenty-eight twenty-six, closed at one twenty-seven seventy-eight. And then you have crude oil today trading down another forty-five cents. Now the down move in oil yesterday did not hurt stocks, so we'll see if that does have any effect. If you take a look at the USO this morning, you'll see that's trading at ten eighty-seven. Spot crude right now. Uh, down 48 cents to $46.94 a barrel. So we'll see where, where how it goes. We'll see how it plays out, and we'll take it one minute, one section, one stock at a time. We'll look at commodities. We'll look at oil. We'll look at gold. We'll look at the dollar, and we'll try to put it all together, and we'll see what we get. But right now, uh, you got some moving parts out here, and we'll see how this market plays out once the opening bell rings a little bit later. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading session. Again, if you want to come over, trade with us, take that seven-day free trial. We'll see you on the charts.